the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, one of the most mysterious places on our planet. Why have only 22 people been there all the time? Why does this place scare scientists? What kind of monsters live in eternal darkness? We will tell you all about it in this video today. Friends, before we start, subscribe to the channel and like it. The Mariana Trench is the most famous and least studied place on the planet. This place was first discovered in 1875 during the expedition of the British ship HMS Challenger. With the help of a special mechanical measuring instrument, the team managed to record a maximum depth of 8,367 meters. The ship's crew was greatly surprised when they had to unwind kilometers of rope so that the weight attached to it could reach the very bottom. 76 years later, the British expedition on the ship HMS Challenger II already determined the depth of the depression – 10,994 meters – using a more modern echo sounder device. Since then, the deepest point on the planet has been popularly called Challenger Deep, after the name of the ship. To briefly describe the Mariana Trench, it is a huge V-shaped depression, 1,500 kilometers long and more than 10,000 meters deep. For example, you can easily cram Mount Everest completely into this recess while still leaving a lot of space. For a long time, it was believed that emptiness reigns in such deep places and life there is basically impossible. An expedition led by the Russian research vessel VTSD began its own research in 1957 and revealed that there is life at a depth exceeding 7,000 meters. In 1960, the Italian research Batiscafe Trieste made a record dive. The instruments recorded a record depth of 11,521 meters. However, the figure was subsequently adjusted to 10,918 meters. This was the first human visit to the Mariana Trench. As the bathyscaphe was lowered, two crew members observed a lot of glow in the water column. A variety of organisms, like shiny snowflakes in the night, rose up and didn't fall down. This is how the pilots described what they managed to observe. After five hours of descent, the bathyscaphe sank to the bottom. At the bottom, the researchers unexpectedly encountered a flat fish up to 30 centimeters in size, similar to a flounder. The bathyscaphe remained at the bottom of the Mariana Trench for 30 minutes. Scientists have seen firsthand that despite the enormous pressure of more than 1,000 atmospheres, the deepest layers of the ocean are inhabited by living organisms. After the dive of the Trieste bathyscaphe, people did not dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench for another 25 years. In 1985, researchers on the Trias Bathyscaphe again decided to dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in search of new secrets. Things didn't go so smoothly this time. During the dive, the pilots heard frightening sounds. It was the cracking of metal. The pilots of the device didn't understand what was happening, because this sound could mean anything. The scariest thing was that the water could penetrate the hull. Under such pressure, she could turn both crew members into mincemeat. But fortunately everything went well. The bath escape withstood, and the pilots decided to continue diving. It was only after the end of the expedition that various theories and evidence began to appear that the bath escape had collided with a huge underwater creature. In 1996, the first recorded collision with unidentified forces took place. The expedition of the American scientific research vessel Glomar Challenger became the focus of attention. Some time after the descent of the device began, the recording device began to transmit to the surface some kind of metallic rasp, resembling the sound of metal being sold. At this time, some vague moving shadows appeared on the monitor, similar to giant lizards. An hour later, scientists became worried that the unique equipment could remain in the abyss of the Mariana Trench forever, so it was decided to immediately raise the device. But the problems arose. The device stubbornly did not want to rise to the surface, as if someone was holding it. When it was finally lifted, the researchers were horrified. The strongest steel beams of the structures were severely deformed. 
Moreover, the 20 cm steel cable on which the device was lowered was half sewn through. Who tried to leave the device at depth? Are prehistoric creatures really live at such depths? The answers to these questions have not been given even today. But what did people manage to find out? There really are monsters at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Almost all inhabitants of the Mariana Trench are predators that eat each other. The lack of light, the composition of the water and the harsh habitat give rise to terrible monsters that are frightening in their appearance. For example, such as the Sea Devil, a creature with a huge head and a mouth with sharp teeth. It is very voracious and often swallows larger individuals. An equally terrifying creature living at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is the terrifying black anglerfish. He looks like he stepped out of a horror movie. Indeed, it looks like more a movie monster than an ordinary fish. Sharp teeth, a disproportionate body, a scary-looking eyes are a great combination worthy of a box office horror film. All this is complemented by a process on the forehead, at the end of which a light glows, which attracts living beings to itself and then mercilessly deals with them. These monsters have a way of eating animals larger than themselves, which makes these creatures even more creepy and dangerous. Fortunately, they are found very deep. They can be found at depth from 100 to 4,500 meters. Macropina fish also settled at such great depth. If you have not previously studied the structure of the head of fish, now you will have the opportunity to do so. The fact is that this creature has a transparent head, and this makes it unique among all the inhabitants of the Mariana Trench. This fish has tubular eyes. Thanks to its transparent forehead, it looks out for its prey with their help. The unusual structure of the ocular muscles allows the eyes of this fish to be in both vertical and horizontal positions, which increases the visibility of this predator's haunt. According to scientists, these fish are even capable of descending straight to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. For this reason, scientists do not know much about this fish. In addition, if you raise it to the surface, the head bladder of this fish will burst, which is why it will immediately die. If all these creatures cause horror and disgust, then this benthocodon jellyfish, on the contrary, looks quite attractive and bewitching. This unique species of jellyfish lives at depth of over 800 meters and uses bioluminescence to lure in prey. As you can tell from these images, they glow very beautifully like magic lamps. And all these fireworks coming down from their dome are their thin tentacles, with the help of which they move and capture their prey. The last to descend into the Mariana Trench were Chinese scientists. On November 10, 2020, they broadcasted the very bottom of the ocean and showed it live on Beijing TV channels, so that viewers could also feel themselves as underwater explorers, because in the live broadcast you could see the most incredible shots taken in the deepest point in the world. Although the Mariana Trench remains one of the most understudied places on the planet in recent years, there has been remarkable progress in its exploration. Each expedition into the depth of the abyss provides new answers and introduces previously unknown inhabitants of the depths. Understanding how these organisms have learned to survive in extreme conditions could be useful in biomedicine and other fields. It is thought that deep-sea geysers may have been the birthplace of the first living things on the planet, so bacteria at the bottom of the Mariana Trench may shed light on one of the most important questions – how life came to exist in the universe. Friends, which of the underwater creatures did you find the most terrifying? Write your opinion in the comments. If you like this video, then like it and share it with your friends.